Let's get started in using Angular Material, a UI framework developed by Google inside of our Angular projects. I'm going to start a new project by using ng init or ng new. And this will be called ng material. This will create all the project files and then of course download all of our dependencies. Now that that has been successfully created, we can cd into ng material and we can start our journey by using npm install at angular slash material and also the angular cdk and that's the component developer kit. Once we install these two dependencies, we then need to install the angular animations dependency. We could install it at the same time, but I think it's a good idea to break these things down. So the next dependency is of course, Angular animations. And our final dependency at this moment in time is going to be Hammer.js. Now you might not need Hammer.js for all of your project, but you will need it within certain components. The components such as the slider and the slide toggle all need to deal with native touch. And Hammer.js is really good with this. It allows us to deal with gestures much easier and of course is a dependency on Angular Material. So we have that. Let's now open this up inside of VS Codes and also run ng-serve. So we have a very basic application. It says welcome to app and it's exactly what we expect. I'm going to open my source directory and inside of app, I'm going to make a shared folder and also a core folder. Inside of shared, I'm going to make a new module by saying shared.module.ts and we'll start by scaffolding out a new ng module. Let's import from angular slash core the ng module, we'll use the ng module decorator and we'll export a new class named shared module. We'll come back to that in a moment. Let's start off by making our core module just the same. Let's make a core module.ts and we've got to copy everything from our shared module into our core module. Let's change the name to be core module instead. And inside of the core module, I'm also going to import from at angular slash platform dash browser slash animations. I need to import the browser animations module. This is a dependency on angular material and we'll need to add this to the list of imports. Let's head over to our app module.ts and inside of imports underneath the browser module, we can import our core module. We can then import our shared module. And before we get too carried away, let's import hammer.js inside of our main.ts. So let's import hammer.js. Awesome. So we have our core module set up. We have our shared module. And we have, of course, our browser module inside of our root app module.ts. Inside of our shared module, we need to import every single component we want to use from Angular Material. I want to add a toolbar to our app. So let's import the MD toolbar module. Now everything starts from, of course, the MD for material design, the toolbar for the name of the component, and then module for, of course, the module that exposes that functionality. Let's import that from at angular slash material. As we're using a shared module, we'll also have to export this from this module. So let's add the MD toolbar module to our exports. This will allow us to use the MD toolbar in feature modules that import our shared module. So because our app module.ts uses the shared module, we can head over to appcomponent.html and we can add md-toolbar. Inside of the toolbar, I'm going to add a span, which is called 
my application and this will be our title. If we then save our file, you will notice that we do get my application on screen, but we don't have a toolbar. And that's because we haven't added a style for our app. Now you can either make your own theme or use a numerous amount of pre-built themes with Angular material. And we can do that by heading over to styles.css. We can then use at import and we can pass in the Angular material slash pre-built dash themes. And I'm going to use the indigo dash pink dot CSS. When I save the file, you can now see that we have a toolbar. This may be hard to see because at the moment it's currently got a gray background. Let's head over to our app component.html and give the toolbar a color of primary. When we do that, our toolbar goes blue. We still, of course, have some padding or margin around our application toolbar. Inside of our styles.css, I'm going to reset the margin to be zero pixels on our application. By doing that, you can see that we then have a toolbar inside of our application that's built with Angular material. We've done things like add a style, a shared module, a core module, and more. From here on out, if we want to add any other component to our material application, all we need to do is head back over to our shared module and add the appropriate module. Don't forget to export the module. And then of course, we can use it in any component that imports our shared module. So that's how we get up and running with an Angular CLI project and material design.